Hi there zine fans, my name's Chloe Henderson and welcome to Coin Operated Press. Today's video is another vlog coming at you with loads and loads of zine fun. This month we're combining our May and June vlogs together because May was our birthday month and we celebrated by hosting a virtual zine fair which ran into June. So the two months sort of blurred themselves together a little bit. So we decided it would be a good idea to combine these vlogs together. So enjoy our May and June vlog. Just been to my parents' house and something awesome had arrived. It's Rosie and Aaron's wedding invite so I thought we'd open it on our little walk along the beach. That is, if I can get it open. <laughs> oh, it's got a bee on it. I don't want anything to fall out. Oh, look how cute it is. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, I like the little bee. And the flowers. I should have done this over a table because I feel like stuff's going to fall out. <laughs> oh wait, I'll not show you their address. But there's a little envelope with their address on it. <laughs> and then that, oh, I'll get that bit in a minute. This is the invite. <laughs> And that's it on the inside. What did I just drop? Oh, it's about their registry. Oh, but it's really cute. Oh, this is gonna go up next to the save the day. I love the bee and I love the little ravens. So in the coin op houses today, we've just been going through all of your amazing submissions to the earth scene and deciding how we want to plan that zine out. And at the same time, we've just gone through all of our previous zines, which you can see here messily spread out on my desk. And we've just been deciding um, which pieces to include in our first ever birthday annual, which I'm so excited to do. Um, we're gonna hopefully do one every single year as long as Con Air Printed Press is running and I'm yeah really excited to put together our first annual zine with all of the best bits of all of our zines which is so difficult to choose because every single piece is our best bit so we struggled to decide exactly who we wanted to pick for that but I've got my master list here and I'm gonna put it together after the weekend is over and I can't wait to see what it looks like. Today I'm working on our first ever coin operated press annual and I'm so excited. Our annual is going to be a collection of all of our favourite bits from our zines that we've made in our first year, so 2020 to 2021. And it's a really difficult decision. Yesterday I had a meeting with Katie and we went through all of the zines and tried to decide on exactly all of the pieces that we wanted to submit. So these are all of our zines here. And then I'm going through just now and picking out all of the pages, but it was a really tough decision to decide which pieces we wanted to include from each of our zines because quite frankly, all of the work that we get is amazing and we love it all, which is why we put it in our zines in the first place. So yeah, I'm going through today, figuring out the final details, putting the pages together, gonna sort it out and design the zine, which is really exciting. So that'll be coming out for our birthday and I'm so excited. This afternoon, I've been editing the birthday annual, but Thor has decided to come and headbutt me, which I think means it's time for dinner. <laughs> so I'll be finishing it off tomorrow, but this is a little sneak peek of what it looks like so far. Yes, I know, it's dinner time, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Today in the coin operated house I am working on the earth zine, I'm putting it all together and yesterday, or no the day before actually, I had a submission session with Katie and we went through and decided all of the wonderful submissions that we're going to include in the zine. Thank you so much for all of your submissions, there were way too many to fit into one zine and we can't believe the quality of the work, it was fantastic. So yeah, thank you so much for your submissions and I'm really enjoying putting them together into the zine just now and Thor is helping me, as you can see. He is protecting me from all the birds and mostly getting in the way, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go downstairs just now, take a little break and make a massive cup of tea and then I'm gonna come back and finish it off and hopefully by the end of today send it to the printers. So excited! 
This is my desk today, finishing off the earth scene and I illustrated the cover, so this is it in my sketchbook and then this is the final design of what our cover is going to look like. So this was the last step for me doing the earth scene, so I'm going to make it into a PDF, send it to Katie, see what she thinks and then we're going to order it, yay! And uh, Thor approves as well, as you can tell. <laughs> Yay, that's the annual uploading just now onto the printing website and I'm so excited to hit that send button. I really can't wait for these ones to arrive. Oh, that's the annual all uploaded. Let's take a little sneak peek together and see what it looks like inside. I love looking at the proof. It's like looking at a real zine almost. Oh, it's going a bit slow, but this is it. All our wonderful familiar faces from our previous issues, so exciting. And some definitely some familiar faces. People like to submit more than once and I really love that. Ah, ta-da! That's what our annual looks like. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope that Coin Operated Press is still around next year so we can make a part two to this. Ah, happy birthday, Coin Operated Press. That is the Earth Zine all uploaded to the printers. Let's have a sneak peek look at the proof together. All the greens and blues in this one. Ah, it looks so cool. I love seeing the little proof. It's like a sneak peek into the zine itself. And it sates me a little bit while it takes, <laughs> it takes a while to arrive. Ah, it looks so cool. I'm so excited. I can't wait for this one to come out. Dude, check the links down below as I will leave all of our shop links there and you can check out the art scene for yourself. Ta-da! Woohoo! That's the earth scene and the annual ordered and on their way! I can't wait for them to arrive, they look so cool and I'm really excited to get them listed in the shop and I hope you guys are excited too and the links will be down in the description below if you want to check them out. In the Coin Up Pisces today we are going through all of our submissions for our birthday zine fair and checking them all out and being really excited to get going with this fair and for the rest of this week we'll be making it happen! This month I've been really busy working with Coin Operated Press and I thought I'd show you a little sneak peek of one of the things that we're working on. So we've done a virtual zine fair for our very first birthday and I'm one of the stall holders which is really exciting. So this is what my page looks like and all of the stall holders have a page that looks very similar to this but obviously with their images and information. So I thought you guys would like to see a little peek of what this virtual table looks like. And as this fair is going to be up for the um, whole month, it's going to be running from the 20th of May, which is our birthday, to the 20th of June. I will drop the link down below into the description and you can check it out and check out all the wonderful stall holders that we've got, including myself, of course, and Coin Operated Press has its own stall. And there's a bunch of us in here and it's fantastic and I'm really enjoying working on the virtual table, which is what I'm doing today, I'm putting everybody's information, everyone's details, all their lovely zines into our page and yeah, this is basically what it looks like. At the moment, our fair home <laughs> is just a placeholder until the actual event which launches in two days time and I'm just busily making it happen at the moment and it's really exciting so yeah, check it out down in the description below. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fine. <laughs> no, I'm gonna sit further forward and yeah, sink I too like much into like, the couch. Let's sit like here. I just hold the balloon above my head. Yeah. Okay. I'll have the balloon. Are you ready? Yeah, go for it. Happy birthday to Coin Operated Press. We're one year old today. Yay, uh, happy first birthday. One, two, three. <laughs> With our tummy back. <laughs> it's vegan though, so you know. <laughs> we'll have to split that later on. <laughs> We're just about to press launch on our um, birthday zine fair website um we've got loads of cool zinesters um who are gonna be yeah it's amazing there's like, so many appearing throughout the month um we'll be posting um a zinester every day for four weeks 
right? Yeah, yeah, up until the 20th of June, so we're going for the whole month, yeah. all 30 days, it's going to be fantastic. Birthday month. Birthday <laughs> month, yeah, exactly, you got to celebrate it for the whole month, come on! <laughs> yeah. And we really hope that you enjoy it and get involved, um, make sure that you send us loads of messages and comments, um, join our Discord, all the links are in our bio. Um, there's lots of fun stuff happening yeah, this month, definitely. right? Stay tuned for a bunch of really exciting announcements coming up soon. Not going to reveal them quite yet because there's surprises coming out very soon. Check out this weekend because we're definitely going to be posting something yeah. exciting then. So yeah, make sure to follow all of our socials so you don't miss any of that stuff. And we'll see you, we'll see you soon in the coming days. Yay. Lots of excitement. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Awkward and cute, I, I love it. As a birthday treat for ourselves, myself and Katie decided to have an art day out together. It was so fun. We went to the Ray Harryhausen exhibition and it was really, really good. We'd both highly recommend it. If you guys are based in Edinburgh, I'll leave the link down in the description below because I think it's on until September, I want to say. But yeah, it was really good. I'd highly recommend checking it out. And then we decided to treat ourselves even further by going out for awesome food at Byron Burger and just hanging out in Edinburgh and enjoying the vibes and just enjoying ourselves celebrating our birthday. And it was a really, really nice day. I also took part in the Coinar Printed Press zine swap and my zines have just arrived. I'm so excited to see what they are. So my zines are coming from Pierre, thank you so much. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, collages. Interested in that. Oh, they're all collage scenes. Let's be pirates. Oh, this, this trade was made for me. I love pirates. And Zumba, nice. Let's have a tiny little flick through the pirates one. Oh, it's Lego as well. That's so cool. Oh, these are so cool. And look at the little, we'll look at the little collages one, a little sneak peek too. Oh nice! The artwork in these are so cool. Thank you so much Pierre, I love these so much. These little mini zines. Ta-da! And I hope the person, I won't, I won't spoil the surprise in case they haven't got it yet. I hope the person that's getting my zines enjoys them too. But these are the little mini zines that I got. Ta-da! So cute! Thank you so much! <laughs> Thank you to all of our um, tablers at our birthday zine fair this month. We had so much fun having a whole month supporting the zine community. Um, and I really hope that everyone who checked out um, our website, all the tablers, all the artwork on there, I hope that you all had a lot of fun. We always love hosting zine fairs because it means that we get to meet a lot of uh, zine makers who we would never really have known before. Um, we always find it really cool that we get to um, discover all this new art and new new people in our community. Um, the great thing about doing online uh, zine fairs is that we get to host tablers from all over the world. We had um, lots of people from America, New Zealand, Australia, um, all around the UK who otherwise we wouldn't we wouldn't meet so it was really cool this birthday zine fair and I can't believe we, we've made it to a whole year already um, thank you for celebrating with us we're really looking forward to being able to do in-person zine fairs really soon hopefully um, we did plan on doing an in-person event uh, last summer and, that, and we went and met the venue, had a walk around and were putting plans in place and then uh, lockdown restrictions happened again. Um, but we're pretty confident that this is kind of it now and restrictions are definitely easing. Um, in Scotland they're saying that the 9th of August should be all restrictions lifted. So we're pretty excited and confident about the fact that we should be able to host um at least workshops small workshops maybe even some zine fairs around like halloween or christmas time um do keep your eyes uh, on our social media for that because we would really love to meet you all in person online zine fairs are really fun but i think anytime we can do an in-person thing is really exciting so fingers crossed 
for this year um otherwise early on into next year but we're getting there fingers fingers crossed and on the topic of zine fairs again um we have a bunch of exciting things coming up um july is going to be quite quiet for us um even though it's international zine month we'll still be trying to do a lot of zine related content for you over the month we'll be sharing a lot of uh, zine makers that we admire but we are going to have a quiet month we're not doing um a zine a day or a zine page a day we won't be doing uh coin operated press prompts this year for international zine month and the reason for that is that i'm getting married at the end of july so i can't be like it's just too much to try and get the last of the wedding planned um because we've had to make a lot of changes recently because of covid um so that's fun um all of that plus trying to do international zine month um it's just too much so we're gonna be having kind of a quieter july um we do have a lot of stuff coming up uh in august and september We've got Queer Zest Zine Fest that we're part of on the 7th and 8th of August um, and Hackney Zine Fair is happening um, in September. It's the whole month of, of September, the 3rd until the 30th and um, we're really looking forward to that. So while it's a quiet July, we've still got a lot of fingers in pies and a lot of things that we're working on. So stay tuned for all that good stuff. So I've just finished working on the Ask Us Anything interview post video thing for our birthday zine fair and it's taking a really long time to render because it ended up being so long. Both myself and Katie end up rambling in all of our videos so it's ended up being like half an hour or something like that. But yeah, it's rendering just now and I'm really excited to get it uploaded to our YouTube because I think it turned out really cool and there's loads of information about the two of us and Coin Operated Press and it's just a great little snapshot into what Coin Operated Press is so I'm excited to get it uploaded and I hope you guys enjoy it. I will link it in the description box of this video so you can check it out. As you may know already, if you follow us, the Coin Operated Press team are big fans of Dungeons and Dragons. So one of the adventures that we had this month was visiting one of our friends in Burn Island, who we've been playing D&D with online. So it's really good to be able to meet them in person and enjoy hangout times in the real world. So yeah, we had a little adventure to Burn Island, did some seal spotting. I promised that little dot in the water that you can see in this film clip is a seal. It might not look like one, but I promise that it is. And it was a really fun adventure and such a nice break from the world and just a lovely place to hang out. And I think Katie and Erin both really, really want to move to Burn Island and I can see why it was lovely. I think I want to live there too. Maybe we'll take over the zine community there and become the little coin operated press team of Burn Island. Watch this space. So if you've been following us for a while you'll know that there are some exciting things in here so let's check them out together. I love that these envelopes are so secure but sometimes they're a little bit difficult to open. So we have a whole pack of things. Exciting. What is this? Not what I was expecting. A little colouring page. <laughs> Thank you Katie for sending me a colouring page. That's so cute. I'll put it into my sketchbook. Oh, I love getting little snail mail packages from Katie. She always sends me lovely little extra things. You're so cute. So in this package today we have the Coin Operated Press Annual. Ta-da! Our first ever, ever annual. So exciting. I can't believe we've been going for a whole year and this is the best bits of all of the things that we've, all of the zines that we've put out so far. A little look back, a little bit of nostalgia for our first year, a little documentation of everything that we've done. Love this so much. It's such a great thing to hold. It's so chunky. And yeah, I'm just really excited by this one. And we also have the Earth Zine. Ta-da! Parting a little bit from our pink to go for some nice green and blues to represent our beautiful Earth. And all of these lovely environmentally conscious artists inside. I really, really like this one. Wait, let me show you 
my favorite page. I mean, I may be a tad biased, but ta-da, I drew this one. <laughs> Just gonna like ego boost my own art. Ta-da, I drew a thing and it's in our zine and I'm super proud and I love it. Oh, thank you for sending these, Katie. I'm so excited to sit down and check them out properly. And here is Thor's little angry tail in the background. He's helping me film today. <laughs> I'm working on the cover for our Pride Poetry Zine and it's making my desk look very colourful. This is the painted cover that I'm working on at the moment and it's a little bit more abstract than we normally do but I thought that might be fun to test out for this poetry zine. So I'm just working away on it just now and doing some painting and really enjoying myself because it's all very colourful and I love a bit of painting. So yeah, stay tuned to see what this becomes. Yay, that's the Pride zine all uploaded to the printers and confirmed and we're really excited to get it so I thought we'd take a quick little look, a little sneak peek at the zine. Let's have a little look together. <laughs> it looks so cool and I'm so excited. Ta-da! For a poetry zine, this is especially colourful. <laughs> oh, I really love how it turned out. It looks so cool and I'm excited to get this one in the post. So I did a zine swap with Michael Gretzky, one of our coin-operated press evening with um, contributors and one of our zine contributors to a bunch of our zines. So it's just arrived and I'm really excited. Ta-da! I think this is the one that he read from during the evening with performance. So I definitely wanted to get this one because I love the poetry that he read on the night. And I just told him to surprise me with other zines. Oh, are these stickers? Or just little bits of printed? Now oh, these are cool. Little, yeah, little bits of printed imagery. And then we've got the Drunk In My Pants zine, issue four, which is cool. It looks like a purr zine, so I'm interested to check that out. A little sneak peek there for you. <laughs> And then Truth and Dare, which is the um, one that he collaborated on with Damon Hurd and posted about on our Discord. So I'm excited to check this out too. The artwork looks really cool. Oh, it looks like a mixture of comics and writing. So that'll be interesting to check out. Exciting. I'm looking forward to checking out all of these. Thank you so much, Michael, for sending me these. And I hope that mine get to you. And sorry for the delays in the postage, but I hope it gets to you really, really soon. Thanks for your package. Shiny package means something exciting has just arrived. Let's unpack it together. And Thor is there in the background, probably to get hair on all my packages. <laughs> ah, sticky. Let's see what we've got today. Oh, little business card, of course. Ta da! So cute. And then it's our Pride of Lime scene. Ta da! Oh, I'm so excited by this one. It's so cute. I really love our mini zines. They're really, because they're so like mini compared to the ones that we normally do. I'm just like, oh, it's so adorable. It's small. All small things are adorable. So here we have our Pride of Line zine. A little sneak peek. I'll flick through for you there. And there are still a couple of copies left in our shop, but this one's sold, like, this nearly sold out so quickly. We've sold most of our copies already, so if you want to grab one, do pop to our shop just now and get the last couple of copies that are in there. There's only a few left, so we'll probably do a second print of this one because it's been so popular. So thank you so much for everyone that's ordered one. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Ta-da! A pride of lines. Thank you so much for watching our video. Um, maybe a bit of a quieter June, um, but we still have had a lot of fun. Um, we always really appreciate all the support that we get on our socials and here on YouTube, of course. Thank you to all of our subscribers. If you are not already subscribed, please do subscribe and click the link below. Um, we'll be doing, like I was saying earlier, we'll be putting out a lot more content in July in terms of vlogs and zine reviews um, and we always 
love uh we always get very excited when we get a new subscriber on youtube so <laughs> we really appreciate it thank you so much and if you have any comments and questions do leave them down below or just send us a message anywhere on instagram facebook we're at coinop press we also have a discord a um, bit quiet at the moment but we we do have a lot of fun over there we host a lot of craft clubs um which which we do uh, via video calls on discord and we also do mini zine making workshops over there and plus it's just a cool place to hang out um and chat with your fellow zine community so it'd be really great to see you over on our discord as well we also have a patreon um which allows us to do make our zines every month and eventually when we're allowed to do workshops and zine fairs and things like that in the future um i'll leave our patreon link down below we really really appreciate everyone who supports us over there um we couldn't really do it without the support of everybody of course so thank you so much we also just hit uh, we're over a thousand followers now on um, Instagram, so that's really exciting. We've just done a thousand followers giveaway. That is today. It's um, the thirtieth. It's the end. It's the end of June, but we'll be announcing a winner of that, which is a whole bundle of zine stuff um, all of our zines, all of our merch, all packed into a bundle for you. Um, so do keep your eyes on our social media every I think every thousand followers will be doing a giveaway maybe we'll, we'll sneak another few giveaways in there as well but just to show our appreciation for you all it's always um, you know just a cool thing to do and yeah um, just yeah I'll leave our links below and we'll see you again soon thank you so much for watching this video and see you